All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. We're going to be talking about promises, okay? Uh, making promises. A lot of people don't realize that when you make a promise, it's like making a covenant. And if you break that promise, it is a sin, um, you know, because God keeps his promises, right? Um, God keeps his promises. You know, what God promises us, he keeps it. You know, it is us that have to keep our end, right? So we can receive it. Um, because if God promises us something and then we, you know, go off on the deep end and go back into the world and then sin and stuff, that promise is still there, but we have to come back to receive it, right? We have to come back to God to receive it. So, and if we, and if we die, um, you know, before we come back to God and we go to Shoel, you know, um, you know, to, 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 to the, uh, you know, to the place that we're not supposed to go to, um, then that promises goes on to your children because God still keeps his promises. This is why a lot of people, um, are getting things that were promised to their mother, their grandmother, their great grandmother, great grandfather, those promises that God made for them. And they didn't fulfill, they, they didn't fulfill their bargain. If we fulfill our bargain with God and we're close to God and we're a child of God, God will give us their promises because the promise that his promises are always fulfilled, right? Uh, it doesn't mean it's going to be fulfilled with you because you can always go off track. You know, he's going to keep his end, but doesn't mean you're going to keep your end, right? You see this picture right here? One has to keep their end and the other keeps their end on the promise, right? So if this, if these two have a date set for, let's say Saturday and he keeps his promises, but she, you know, has something come up like, uh, some type of, uh, emergency, uh, meeting or at work or some type of car issues. And she can't get to that meeting on Saturday. You know, he kept his side, but she didn't keep her side, right? Same thing on the other way. If she, you know, if they have something set up and she's excited to go to the movies and he, on the other hand, gets sick the day before, she, she you know, she kept her promise. She's going to be at the, mo the movies. They promised to be at the movies on, on Friday night and he got sick and he didn't keep his promise, right? So, you know, it, so promises are covenants that need to be completed and if they are not completed you but you must apologize and repent for not completing those promises so on today's video we're going to pray and we're going to repent for every promise we have not kept secretly you know hidden promises knowing promises unknowing promises spiritual covenant promises that you make in your dreams all these things can be holding us back from our great potential you know because all 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 satan needs all the devil needs is 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 you know for to him to look at your resume and say oh well he's got oh i see promises that he never kept those are he has sins on him he can't you know he can't reach his full potential right so a lot of us are being held back by simple things like this in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm that we know nothing about because I didn't know anything about promises, you know, that I had to keep my promises. And if I didn't, I had to repent for it. Hey, I had no clue about that. Right. So, and a lot of us have made promises to many people and we've never kept those promises and we just go on life. And then we're like, man, God, why are we, sh why can't we break? Why can't we have the, why can't we break out of things? You know, why can't we, why can't we achieve things that we want to achieve? Why, why do I set goals and I can't, I can't reach all of them or I only reach half of them? Why am I, oh, why am I so normalized? Why can't I be great and stand out? And it could be because you have promises that you made and covenants that you made in the spiritual realm and the physical realm that you've never, and that you broke in and you never repented for them. And you never, and you never uh, told God you were sorry for breaking those promises.
that's one of the things that could be stopping you and holding you back. Uh, God holding, he, God can't move uh, all the way. He can move 65, 75% of your life. So you see a glimpse of what you could be. You see a glimpse of you, you know, you, you being a Kobe Bryant, LeBron, Michael, you're like, oh, and, and, and whatever field you're in. Oh, man, I, I just see, you know, I just had a good month, right? You know, like, man, I could, if I did that every month, I would be the top guy in, in the company. Or I, I would be the top guy or I would be a billionaire by now if I could do that every month. But you, for some reason, you can't. There's something holding you back from not being able to do that every month. Because God can only move, God can't move 100% because you have broken promises in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. Okay, so, right, so, so this is another thing that is keeping us, there's so many things that the church don't talk about that are keeping us from our full potential, okay, and one of them is promises, okay, and have you ever heard the church talk about broken promises? Nope, I haven't, I was, I was raised in the church, never heard of it, never heard, of it. I made promises when I was a little kid, uh, to, you know, teenage life, to adult life, promises. I broke a lot of promises, made a lot of promises, broke them, didn't keep them. Made promises to God, never kept them. You know what I mean? Like, went back into sin. <laughs> like, didn't repent. You know, like, like repent for the sin, but didn't repent for the promise. that, that was, The covenant that was broken, right? Because we weren't taught that stuff. So, and this is why... You know, you know, the Lord, you know, God says that we, we, we perish in, in Shoel and in, 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 in hellfire because of lack of knowledge, you know, because we're not being taught these things. This is why we have to seek him, right? This is why we have to have an intimate relationship with God, because if you don't, you won't know the secrets of God. You won't know what sins you really have. This is why it's good to always every maybe, you know, every month. Ask the Holy Spirit to uncover, reveal every every sin that I have, reveal it to me as I as I sleep. You know, I like to take afternoon naps. You know, afternoon well, that's because I don't I don't have a I don't have a boss I don't I don't have a job. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I'm, you if you if you call YouTube a job then that then a career or whatever you want to call it, but I don't have nothing that I, I have a scheduled timing. Okay, so. You know, I can take afternoon naps. Rich people, you know, and successful people or people who don't have bosses, they take afternoon naps, you know, because afternoon nap is so good, right? It's so good for your body, right? An afternoon nap, a two to three hour afternoon quick nap is very good for your body. It recharges you. It brings your stress level down tremendously. And for me, as a prophetic guy, you know, as a prophet, I get to dream, I get to see afternoon naps are probably more powerful sometimes than sleeping at night for seven, eight hours or six, seven, eight hours. That short afternoon nap, I get to see things. God puts things in my in my mind or in my in the spiritual realm for me, and I get to see a lot of things. I see some of you guys um, and what you guys are doing or what you guys could not could be doing in the future. I see. Um, I see a whole bunch of things. I, I, I see the cryptocurrencies. Um, I see stocks. I see Iraq. I see um, all the things that I'm involved in, plus other things, right? I see danger. I see good. I see bad, evil. Like, when I take my afternoon naps, man, I get ready for whatever God has in store for me, okay? And, uh, and sometimes it's... Uh, Sometimes it's bad, you know, things that I'm seeing. Sometimes it's good things that I'm seeing. Sometimes it's neutral things, right? But, you know, those afternoon naps are a blessing, okay? Um, and I, and if once, the, uh, once you guys become financially free, if it's through the cryptos or if it's through uh, Iraqi Dinar or Vietnamese Dong or Irani Riel or whatever the case may be for whoever's listening here, or if it could be even stocks or whatever the case may be or anything else that you guys are involved in that I don't know about. Maybe passive incomes and you're doing real well in the passive incomes and you're going to be selling for, you know, $300,000, dollars $500,000 on hexa coin or, or gold rewards coin, you know, when, when these things explode higher. So, you know, I don't know what you're, what you, what you have invested, right? But once you get out of once you get financially free and you're able to, 
to uh, take those afternoon rests, you're going to find out it is awesome to take afternoon rest. Um, but yeah, so keeping your promises is very, very important because this can be your downfall, right? And so a lot of us are not seeing our peak potential because we have promises to God, to people, to family members, friends, to ourselves, and in the spiritual realm that we broke and we have not repented for. We might repent for, we might have repented for some of the acts that we did that were sinful, but we haven't repented for the, all the broken promises, going all the way back to when we were a child. Matter of fact, we could have generational broken promises as well from our mother, our father, our stepfathers and stepparents and grandparents, all the way back to Adam and Eve and our bloodline. Bloodline. We could have broken promises. We could have millions of broken promises in our generational bloodline that's always holding us back from opening new doors that God has for us. Because every time the new door is about to kick open, the devil steps in and says, look at the, all the broken promises, all the sin from broken promises they have not repented for. And God has to, God can't allow the door to open. He might open it 30% because he loves you. You know what I mean? And he knows that you're trying, you're trying your best, but you don't know about the broken promises. See, that's, you see, see, that's, that's one of the reasons why you see people be like, man, they, I know they can be a superstar. I know they can be great. I see it in them, but it, they, they, it, they can't get over. There's a, there's some type of hump or wall that they can't get over. And that's what it is. It's sin. That wall that people can't get over is sin. <laughs> now, th that's in our world. If you, Now, in Hollywood, that's a different story. The wall people can't get over is blood sacrifices and, and, and stuff like that. <laughs> okay? So when you see somebody that's a really good rapper or really good artist and stuff, and they can't, and they've never, like, really went mainstream and... And, or, and maybe they did go mainstream, but it was only only lasted like a year, and then they went back to the underground world, or or they've just always been at an even kill, and it, you know, like a fabulous. Let's say fabulous. Fabulous was, you know, you know, some of you guys remember fabulous, the hip hop artist, uh, and um, he, you know, he's always his his whole career has basically been an even kill, right? He's never been at the top. But he's never been at the bottom. He's always been like the top 10, you know, every year, you know, like even kill. And, you know, and, and you and I started to wonder why that was. Why, why this guy with the talent he had and everybody wanting him to be the new the new guy of New York after Jay-Z and Nas, uh, you know, were aging out. And he never took over New York. Right. He never took over the New York scene as as big as them. Right. But he was always in the top five, always in the top ten every year, right? And that's because in, on, on the, in the Hollywood side, to get over the hump, you have to do the blood sacrifices and all the rituals and stuff. And many people don't want to do that, right? This is why you have a lot of one-hit wonders. If, you, if you're wondering why there's a lot of one-hit wonders, because as soon as they get a hit, here comes all of the boule and all the people that... Uh, come after you and they say you got us, you know, to continue your success, you better sign your name in blood and sorry, do sacrifices and rituals and, and they and these people do not want no parts of that. And so they go, they take their one hit, they make their money off of that and they go back into their, in their, in their society and their home and then get scrutinized by why aren't you on television being successful anymore? Why are you back home? <laughs> you know, and they won't tell these guys that it's because they, they were trying to uh, make me do blood sacrifices and things like that, okay? So that's what's going, that's what happens in Hollywood. For us, on our end, on our, on, on our holy side, um, it's promises, okay? So promises are keeping us from being who we were, we were supposed to be. And so today, you're going to be who you're supposed to be, okay? And so today... We're going to repent for our promises and we're going to break all the chains going back to Adam and Eve on broken promises that we made spiritually and physically. And I guarantee you that when you pray and you break your promises in this video, your life will change forever because that because that bloodline of sin and that generational sin and that spiritual sin 
will be cast down. It will be removed. And now God can put you down at 100% instead of 30 or 60 or 50%. Okay? So let's get let's pray. Let's break these promises, these, these broken promises and on the sin of of uh, of promises that we have broken. Uh, right now so heavenly father first of all we thank you we thank you for the teaching we thank you for the word we thank you for all that you do for us we repent and with our hearts of everything that we have done uh everything that we have done secretly hiddenly uh knowingly unknowingly we repent for all of our sins lord wash us clean from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet and we cancel every dream that we've had in the last week, last day, last 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, this whole year, all the way back to Adam and Eve. We cancel every demonic dream, every demonic vision, entity, witches, warlocks, sorcerers, astral projection, landline, land course, and demons. We cancel all of the dreams. We cancel familiar spirits dreams we cancel poverty dreams we cancel every dream that is not of you god and we send it back to the sender 100 million billion trillion fold pin with a bloody shoe and the power rock of this holy spirit we thank you lord we thank you and heavenly father now we know that we have sins of broken promises and lord we we accept that in our with our hearts we accept that we have sinned against you with promises not kept we have done it in the spiritual realm. We have done it to you. We have done it to our family members, our friends, our loved ones, co-workers, uh, strangers, and to ourselves and to the environment and to the earth and the universe. We have broken promises and we also have generational broken promises going back from our mother and fathers all the way to our grandmother and grandfathers all the way back to Adam and Eve. We have broken promises, Lord. We accept it. We understand it now and we repent with our hearts for every single broken promise that we have created and we have made every broken promise covenant that we have made and and, and that we have uh, broken and, and every broken promise going back to Adam and Eve on our mother and father's side, we, we repent for it now. We break the covenant of broken promises we break the sin of broken promises we break the sin of broken promises in the spiritual realm we repent for it now we repent for it now we are sorry lord that we have that, that we uh, committed that sin of broken promises and this to, and this day forward we shall be very, very careful of making promises to people. And if we can't keep our promise, we need to let that person or, 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 or that thing know immediately that we cannot keep that promise and we need to repent for it immediately when we can't keep the promise. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, we, we break we break every sin stronghold for broken promises and we are free now from broken promises in our generational bloodline in our spiritual bloodline in our spirit man and in our holy man in our in our in our spirit is free from generational and covenant of of a uh, promise uh, unbroken unbro bloodline in the name of Yeshua Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God we are free from broken promises free from broken bloodlines free from spiritual broken promises in the name of Yeshua Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God we are free we are set free we are set free we are set free we are set free now in the name of Yeshua Jesus Christ now Lord Take us from 30%, 50%, that grace that you've given us, that favor you've given us, and now send it to 100%. And let us shine like we're supposed to shine as we have broken the curses, broken the generational bloodline of broken promises today. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Yeshua. Send the angels around us to protect us today as we have broken those covenants uh, of broken promises, and we are free from that sin. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. Shalom. All right, guys and girls, we have broken 
the, the sin of broken promises from generational to spiritual to physical. Now watch your life change forever, okay? Immediately your life will change because God can now send you from 30%, 20%, 15% to now 50, 80, 100% immediately now in breakthrough fashion. You know, if you're if you were sitting on the sideline saying, why I'm only going being, being able to go 20% hard and I can't get any higher, and that's because of these broken promises. Now God can send you to 50% overnight and then 100%. He might not get send you to 100% right away because you might not be able to handle it right away. But he might send you to, he might double what you've been doing. Your efforts at your job, your workplace, your business, your YouTube channel, whatever it is. And you only, and, and you only been able to get so far. It's because of these broken promises. And today you are free from broken promises and God can now uh, God can now grow you and accelerate your life today. Amen. Shalom. Talk to you guys later. Eyes open. Bye.